We're gonna make clackers today. Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. Today we're making clackers. Remember these from the 1970s? Come on, it's easy, I'll show you how. Okay, to get started, you're gonna need some parachute cord. I got the black one that comes in different colors. And you're gonna need some large beads. I bought these a long time ago at Joann's and I can't remember the name or the size, but you wanna get some large beads. This one is approximately almost an inch, a little less than an inch wide, but you wanna make sure the hole is big enough that the parachute cord can go into it. And I'm going to put a link down below when I get a chance to find some more of these beads but I don't want to recommend anything until I've ordered it and seen the quality and make sure they're the right size. And then I will post a link in my description box once I order them and know that they're good before I recommend them. So you're going to take your parachute cord. I already cut a piece that's 25 inches long. And because it's frayed like this, I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape. to make it easier to thread. But before I do that, I'm going to even these up like this and come up here and tie this into a one and a half inch loop. Use one and a half inch. Right about there. Can you see that? One and a half. Okay. I'm going to thread our bead on. And make a loop at the bottom. Like that. Tie a knot at the end of this one. And then we're going to tie a loop to hold the bead here at the bottom, on the very top of it, like that. Get that knot as close to the bead as you can. Do the same over here. And get as close to this bead as you can. Make sure they line up, and they do. And now we're just going to cut off the little tails here. And we're going to take this lighter and just light the ends to keep it from fraying and coming undone. Just like that. And we're done. Now let's try them out. Thank you for joining me today, making our clackers from the 1970s. Just a little word of warning, these do hurt whenever you play with these and they, they come back and they hit your wrist. I made this on one of my YouTube shorts if you want to check out my YouTube shorts on how I made this to protect my wrist when I play with this. But if you want a quick and easy idea, you can just take a thick sock and wrap it around your wrist and tie it like that. And that'll protect your wrist when you're playing with these. So when you play with them, they don't hurt your wrist. Anyway, have fun, but be careful. See you next time. Have a so blessed day.
Bye.